Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hold pairs all of the msinfo32.exe system information not working error message you're getting on your computer when attempting to open up system information and it's unable to collect information. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this issue. And I believe the full error message reads that it cannot access the Windows Management Instrumentation software. Windows Management files may be moved or missing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best results, you come back with command prompt, right click on that, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have several commands in the description of my video, guys. I want you guys to copy and paste each one one at a time. And we're going to go ahead and just paste them directly into the command prompt window. So the first one's going to start with net stop. So go ahead and copy that. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and paste that in. Give that a moment there. And then once that is done, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video and run that. And go ahead and paste in the third one. You can also just tap Control-V on your keyboard in order to paste them in as well. Just it's a quicker way to do it. And then I'm actually going to have a couple additional commands or three additional commands after this one, after these three, I guess. So there should be like six total here. We're going to go ahead and paste them in one at a time. And give that a moment. You can close out of this. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now is all one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Begin running that system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, once that's done, close out of here. And you want to restart your computer at this time.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.